All right, I'm gonna start on the uh, heavy wooden door between the changing room and the sauna. And I'm gonna build that out of the um, rough cut one inch pine that I have that I use for board and batten on this barn. And also just two by material inside. And it'll have kind of like a foam insulated core. All of this stuff is from this book, The Sauna by Rob Roy. And he details how to build this door. I'm changing it up a little bit. The inner kind of framework he's, he used is two by sixes and I'm just gonna use two by fours. Um, mostly because I have that laying around in size. It'll also lessen the weight of the door, which will be heavy enough as is. Um, I don't necessarily think you need to have two by sixes. The whole thing will be sandwiched inside a, a layer of one by on the outside, the, the two by construction on the inside, and then one by is on the other side. So it'll be heavy enough. I'm also not using rough cut two by sixes. Um, it'll be store-bought material. It'll also have a window in it. I just took apart a nice window that I had um, gotten out of the garbage. So nice two-pane glass window I'll set in there also. So the rough opening of the sauna door is 80 inches. So I'm going to build a door 79 inches. That'll give uh, about a one inch gap or three quarter inches because there's going to be a little gap on the top um, to let air in to kind of feed the, the stove in there. The top and bottom will have a one inch board that you'll see. So I've subtracted those two and I come up with 77 inches. So I cut a 77 inch two by four and now what I'm doing is taking my one inch stock board, putting it on top, flushing it up and nailing it in. That way in the end, I'll end up with this on the bottom and then uh, I can tie in my three cross pieces. I'll have one on the bottom, one below the window and one on the top. I'm gonna figure out my window height and nail this cross member just below where I want the window. And that's what we have so far. But I found this stuff and it's inch and a half and uh, that'll work out perfect. I mean, you can see what I have here. So I've sided the other side and I had the window laying in there and all I did was take some small pieces, rip them down and butt it up against the window and, and trim it out. So now I'm gonna do the entire edging. Um, it's three and a half inches wide. Okay, we finished up. We got the trim all the way around the sides. Turned out good. It's uh, gotta be close to 100 pounds. All said and done, I'd say between an 80, 80 and 100. Um, I gotta come up with some handles. I'm not gonna put a, a lock or anything on it. I'm just going to uh, uh, hang it so that it wants to close toward the sauna. Um, I don't want you know, anybody to get locked in the sauna at all or anything. So handle on both sides and uh, three large hinges and, and we're good to go. So it'll be nice. You'll be able to uh, see if anybody's coming in to the changing room and it'll let in a little bit more light in the sauna. I think it turned out good. So the entire plans to build this on how to build it, frame it, the foundation, and the cordwood um, I found in this book, The Sauna by Rob Roy. He's kind of uh, an expert on cordwood, and uh, this is kind of where it started. I, I wanted to build a sauna a long time ago, and I found, that's how I found cordwood construction, and uh, and it turns into this is how we're gonna build our house. So um, again, this is our practice building. Practice uh, the timber framing and practicing
the cordwood. And we need a nice place to uh, bathe and, and stuff this winter because it's kind of a pain to heat a bunch of water every day and take a shower in the cabin because um, we don't have any you know, running water and stuff. So this will be a lot easier and a lot um, more comfortable to bathe in there. So by winter, hopefully it's finished.